hi everyone welcome back to the channel so this is the fourth video in the excel automation series so let's see the agenda for today today we are going to discuss about the copy paste range in the excel we'll see how we can copy only the formula only the number or the cell format or if you want to copy paste the formula and the number along with the cell format how do we do that in the excel after that we will see how we can copy the entire sheet in an excel and all those things we will be demonstrating in the UiPath Studio. So let's get started. I quickly come to the UiPath Studio and uh, first thing first we just drag in Excel application scope because this activity are available in the part of Excel application scope. We point it to the sample Excel which we have kept. We go to Excel and this is the sample Excel. Okay, so this is done. So this is the Excel which we have kept. So if I you will see for this demo, I have one source sheet. So the source sheet is having 30 rows and in this sheet you will see we have F column, G column and in the H column we have some formula. So the H column is a formula driven row. So the G column has a format available for the rupees and what we want to do we want to copy paste this data in the destination sheet. So let's see what are the options available for us. So for that we quickly go to the UI path. We take an activity called copy paste range okay so this is the first activity we want to talk about so let's see the properties available for the copy paste range so there are first thing we want to specify the sheet name so the input so the input would be the source for us so i just quickly rename copy this one and the sheet name would be source okay now the destination sheet so range i'll talk in a little bit later now the destination sheet so the destination sheet is dest I go here and I type DEST. Next, which is the range you want to copy? So let's say if I give like this double quotes and in the destination cell, we have to put the cell from where we want to paste the data. So as of now, I will just specify A1 because I want to start the data pasting from the first cell. So I'll go here and specify A1, right? So now we have something called now we have something called copy items so we have this many options available that specify how do you want to copy paste the data do you want to paste only the values do you want to paste the values in the formula you want number formats or you want to paste everything so you can select the all option let's see everything is working but first thing one important thing so if i just put it like this and if you think that it is going to copy paste the entire range so you are a bit wrong here so when we run the automation and now we are thinking that it should copy paste the entire range so we got an exception saying that the value cannot be null so this parameter is expecting a range which we have to copy okay so when we say range so we come to the source and the range would be a1 to h30 so i quickly go here and type a1 to h30 like this okay so this is the source and the this is the destination so let's say first thing i want to copy the entire data so when i say entire data i have this formula here in the h column and this is a uh, format in this form of rupees okay so i want to come copy paste the entire data here so what i will do i will just select all okay and i'll run the automation save everything run the file execute it completely let's go back so if you will see in the destination sheet we have got the entire data pasted exactly as it is okay so this is what you get when you select all in the option okay so now let's say i don't want the formula here i just only want the values so for that what we have to do is we have to come here and we have to deselect this option and i want only the values i don't want the formulas okay i want only the values okay so let's try and run the file again and now what will happen it will override the data execution is completed we come back again now if you will see there is no formula here so it has pasted the data and there is no formula available so but if you'll go to the source you will see there was a formula available in the destination there is no formula available okay so this is the type of uh, customization we get from this right so let's say one more option in the source if you will see there was a format of rupees 
right rupees 3 rupees 20 and in the destination there is no format let's say i don't want the formula but i want the number format for that okay so i'll quickly go here and just select the number format also okay let's save this workflow and run the automation execution completed let's go back and now if i go to the destination you will see there is no formula and the bot has copied the format also so this is the kind of customization you can make with the help of the copy paste range so if you want to select everything you can play around this and have the correct use of the property okay so i'll just leave it to the default setting all okay so now one more important thing so you can just copy paste a single cell also so let's say in the source range i'll go here so i will quickly delete everything from here okay so let's say i just want um, let's say this only the g2 cell in the destination right so we can do that so in the source name you can only specify g2 or sorry g2 so it will do it will just copy the g2 from the source to the destination and i want only the value okay so i'll just run the automation completed if i go to the destination so 20 is pasted here so this also can be accomplished if you have a single range and where you want to just copy paste a single value so this is is doable but recommendation is we should use the source range now one more thing all this range and everything can again come from a variable so you we can always have a variable called str range and this variable can be again used here like this this variable can be used in the copy paste range in the range we can have this variable okay so this is how the copy paste range works so you can leverage all these options which are available uh, one more thing about the copy paste range so if you go here and you see the destination and if i just make the destination shift to something which is not available okay so i made a destination sheet which is not available okay so what will happen now ui path copy paste range activity will not create the sheet automatically and it will give an exception so if i just run the automation now okay so you got an exception saying that the sheet does not exist so the copy paste range the sheet should be available in the excel sheet okay it will not create a destination sheet itself so this is the thing which we should take care while implementing an automation to know more about the copy paste sheet copy paste range you can always come to the docs.uipar.com and have a read i'll just provide the links in the description so the next activity i want to talk today is the copy sheet activity so as the name suggests it is going to copy the sheet entire sheet so let's see what are the properties here and what are the things we need to take care of okay so so the first thing it works only inside the excel application scope so you cannot put it outside the excel application scope okay so this is the source for the copy sheet so now it will copy the sheet from the file which you have mentioned in the excel application scope if you will go to the properties of copy sheet you will have only the destination path and the destination sheet okay so now we have this file available now the source will be source for us so i'll just change this sheet name input to source okay so now this is the destination sheet name so where exactly you, what is the destination sheet you want to have right so if i just go here and type the destination sheet as new okay so what it, what will happen is we'll just copy the sheet from the source to a sheet called new in the excel application scope let's try and run this execution completed okay and we have got a new sheet which is a copy of the source okay so i'll keep as it is now let's see one more option so let's say if i already have a destination sheet available dest available right and if now if i use the copy sheet from source to destination what should happen so you might think that it will just replace the data which is already available in the destination sheet that is the 20 right so let's see and try what happens if i just pass the destination sheet as dest so let's run this automation and see what happens okay it has given an exception that the sheet is already taken try a different name 
so what does that mean it will give you an exception but still it will copy the data so you we cannot use the same name like dest because it is already taken but if, if you will go to the excel you will see the data was still copied to the file name called source2 so this is the thing you need to take care of okay okay so one last bit about the copy sheet so if you go to the properties you will see something called the destination file path so what does this mean so as of now the destination file path was black so excel application scope is treating this as the source and the destination but if we have an excel different excel where we want to paste the entire sheet we can go ahead and pass the destination path so let's say i want to paste this in a new excel which is not available and i just name the excel as new excel okay so that excel is not available so what will happen if i run the automation it will paste the sheet name source to a sheet called destination in a excel sheet called new excel dot xlsx and where it will create since i have not specified the part so it will create it in the project directory so i save everything so if i'll go to the project if i refresh you will see there is no workbook for new excel so if i now run this automation okay so execution was completed now if i go to the project and refresh you will see there is a new excel created by uipath i'll just open it and we should have a sheet called dest okay so this is at the end so so this is default and we have a new sheet pasted at the end called dest so i come back to the uipath studio so if you want to paste the data in the new sheet all you have to do is pass the excel path here or you can just specify like this the same logic applies here this sheet name the destination path everything can come from the variables so you can just create variable assign the path and use the same variables in the properties okay so to know more about the copy sheet you can always come to docs.uipath.com and read the documentation so there is an important update which is provided by uipath which says the copy sheet does not function properly with office 2010 and 2013 versions so please take care while implementing your automation so that is all for today's video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation